Uh, bye guys, uh, I want to make a quick follow-up to this video right here. Uh, the widget component um, tutorial. There's something that I've left out that might be useful to you. So once you've added um, your widget components, right, and then you select your widget, you might find that it's very difficult for you to change the draw size to match what you see here. Like we want to um, to make changes here and we want them to match what we see here, right? And you might think it's because our draw size is not the same size as this. I mean, that's um, half correct. I'll show you why. So you see this is 406 times 172. So if you come here and do 476, right? And 172, we get a completely different shape. So. Let me just cut to the chase and show you how to fix it. First, you want to wrap your your widget in a canvas panel like this, and um, keep the anchor top left, and then just you know size your widget. Okay, whatever you do here now will be reflected in here. So let's just size it. So we want it to look like this in our widget blueprint. So then the second thing you want to do is you want to take this draw at desired size right so whatever you do after you take this this is no longer useful you can see i can reset it it's no longer useful to this widget component it will then take its size from the fake 3d button so as you can see if i compile this this is the same shape if i go back here and then change the size make it something secure like this same thing happens here so this is more um, reliable to work with. You know what you're working with, so you don't have to mess with these and change the scales to try and get the same shape that you're getting inside the widget. Um, if you're wondering how I'm getting this um, fake 3D button thing, um, it's part of a series where we are recreating Fortnite Festival. Um, I think you check that video out if you want. And we'll be using this plugin, uh, MIDI Engine Rhythm Tools. But yeah. 